Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Thank you for joining us um, in another session of Getting to Know Michigan. And today we have the privilege of sharing with you our office, which is Mesa. Um, first, before we get into that, I am a Black female with twists in my hair. I have purple glasses, nose wings, some earrings, and a Black jacket. And I use she, her, her pronouns. My name is Nia Kawait, and I've been with the Mesa office as an office manager for the past almost three years. Good morning or good afternoon from wherever y'all are tuning in. Um, my name is Andrea Wilkerson. I use she, her pronouns. Um, and I have been a program manager at the Multi-Ethnic Student Affairs Office or Mesa uh, for the last um, three years now. So excited to be here with y'all this morning or afternoon. <laughs> And so we're going to go ahead and get started. As we said, as Andrea just said, we are the multi ethnic student affairs office and welcome to we are affectionately known as MESA. All right. And so just so you know, the MESA office is a unit within the Division of Student Life. We strive to achieve our vision of diverse and vibrant campus community where our members are embraced, nurtured, and successful. Um, we like to uh, encourage student experiences that will build inclusivity and equitable opportunity for all across the campus. Right, and I just wanted to take a moment too, as we're going uh, to a, a way to interact with us throughout the presentation or at the end would be to use the Q&A feature. If you have any questions, if anything comes up or comments, um, feel free to navigate over to that Q&A feature. Um, that'll be the best way to reach us. We'll do our best to you know, check in on those as we go, um, but we might kind of get in the zone and we may have to answer some questions or comments at the end. So. Hang in there. If we haven't reached you yet, we will get there. Um, so looking at our next slide here about Mesa's core values, um, you can see fun, trust, integrity, intersectionality, all the things, um, collective community and transformation. Um, we've got six of these primary core values here for Mesa. They really drive the work that we do. Um, these values really continue to support our mission and vision of our office, and it contributes to our ultimate goal of promoting student development and empowering um, students in our campus community. So we've got um, all these different ways to engage. So through the lens of race and ethnicity, Mesa provides these experiences, leadership opportunities, engagement, um, through our core work that also embodies celebration, education, and building social capital. Uh, MESA's programs are designed to create meaning and belonging for underrepresented students on campus. Whatever we do, whether cultural or educational, such as celebrating various heritage months, our mentorship programs, offering grants to student organizations, um, all of these programs and opportunities are centered around these themes and manifest in various forms that contribute to the mission and vision of our unit. So you can see that um, as we talk more about our work here. Yeah, so again, we just want to reiterate anything that we say and you're like, huh, what does she mean by that? What, what, what is that about? Feel free to use the Q&A. Um, question and answer button at the bottom. So the next slide, um, we are currently preparing for this now, and hopefully you will have received our invitation to apply should you be interested. But we have welcome programs, and we offer currently four welcome programs. You see two here, um, Salam, which is Successful Arab Leaders at Michigan, and Alma, um, the Alma Welcome Program. And so this typically occurs shortly before the fall semester. And so we, you would be able to be a part of this program kind of like a week 
maybe a week and a half before the school, the fall semester starts. These welcome programs, what are they for? We're trying to create a sense of belonging to incoming students, so to those of you that we are meeting with now. And this is because as you begin to engage um, and explore the university community, sometimes you don't know where to start, you don't know where to go, you don't know who to get in contact with. And so these welcome programs kind of set you off within a community that you choose to be a part of and and allow you to explore the campus. Welcome program at Michigan is holistically supported and empowers participants while we are, as I mentioned, giving you an introduction to the University of Michigan community and its resources. You will build community with other incoming students, a returning student, faculty and staff. And also we ask you that you become a part of um, our uh, allyhood, building learning experiences, where you will explore social identities, ally development, and community building. And so, Nioka, that's so cool. What are the four programs you have? Um, our slide here uh, starts with Salam, which is a partnership between the Arab Student Association and Mesa. It's a multi-day program, first year and transfer students to build community and learn about the campus, connect with other of the Arab student um, experience. Our ALMA Welcome Program is a partnership between a student organization, La Casa, and Mesa. It's a program designed for first year students that provide a unique opportunity to learn community, learn to build community, excuse me, learn skills and knowledge of the campus resources vital to first year experiences. And the program is open to all students. Um, and it provides a space, a space for individuals to develop and to further learn about them with the Latinx experience. Uh, other two that we have um, is GOAL, Growing Oceanic and um, Asian American Leaders. Um, it's a development program offered, again, to first-year transfer students. Participants will explore, critically, critically think about the leadership and a partnership within um, uh, Oceanic and Asian American student organizations across the campus. The identities, um, the discussions, the values of orientation, history, current events, social structures, we have it all. And then lastly, we also have a Native American Student Welcome Program. It's offered, again, all <laughs> first year and transfer students. And I wanna put an emphasis that if you're saying I'm not a first year, I'm transferring, I did my first year here, but if it's your first year at Michigan, this still applies to you as well. Um, and this is partnering with the uh, Native American Student Association that builds, again, community, um, the knowledge of the campus, and deepen the learning of the Native American identity. Um, and as I mentioned in the previous slide, this is also, we're going to create agency and allyhood experiences. This is not just so that you can find your way in one realm, but all across campus as a whole. All right, moving on from our welcome programs to talk a little bit about our mentoring programs. Um, one of the major components of our office is that we really believe in mentoring um, and however that shows up in, our, in all of our communities here. Um, it's a major part of what we do um, in Mesa from a programmatic point of view on down to a student development and professional development point of view. What does that mean? Um, really, it means we're all being mentored at some point in time throughout the year, whether that's students together, peer to peer, uh, professional staff with students and back and forth. Um, in community, we really believe that we can all learn from each other all the time. Um, so we really lean into that at Mesa. And just to highlight one of our programs um, is our um, SIBS program, which stands for supporting, Support for Incoming Black Students. Um, SIBS provides mentorship, leadership opportunities, coaching, lots of networking, and support for our underclass students by the upperclass students at U of M. Um, we're happy to share more about the SIBS program specifically, um, you know, emailing out to our Mesa, general Mesa email. Hopefully that will be shared out. It's just mesa.uofm at umich.edu. Um, but we're happy to chat more and, and let you all know more about that program. That is just one of them. Moving on to our Heritage Months, um, we've got a lot here. So at Mesa, our annual Heritage Months serve as pathways to celebrate cultural traditions, highlight the strength of our complex experiences across racial identities, 
and create opportunities, engagement opportunities to expand on how we understand race and ethnicity. Currently, we celebrate five different heritage months throughout the fall and the winter academic semesters. And you can see those here. We've got Black History Month in February, um, Asian American and Pacific Islander Heritage Month. We recognize this is um, nationally recognized in May, but to maintain the academic calendar, we observe sort of like mid-March to mid-April, try to stay away from that exam time for our students. Um, Arab Heritage Month, again, March, April to sneak away from exams. Latinx Heritage Month in September and Native American Heritage Month in November. Thank you for those. The Heritage Month are extremely fun. Mentoring is definitely something that is going to um, help sustain you on your collegiate journey. Um, but we also have student employment opportunities. If you sat there and you said, Nick and Andrea were talking about some Heritage Month and it was really sound interesting, you can be a part of our staff. <laughs> we offer semester-based student employment opportunities for student leaders who are interested in engaging in DEI and racial justice work. So if it sounds like something that you will be interested in, we encourage you again to message us at mesa.uofm at umich.edu. You can choose and decide to be part of our Heritage Month, our mentorship program, our PI team, which is the peer inclusion education team, Team, our grants program, welcome programs, and so many more. If there's something that you haven't seen yet and you say, you know what, I think Mesa would be really good if they did something like this. We encourage all thoughts. We encourage all um, new ideas and new experiences that you may feel we need to be a part of. And so we offer that as well. And so some of the student organizations that we are um, that we sponsor through our office. And so we are, you've heard some of these in our description with the welcome program, but um, these are just a few of the programs that Mesa tends to work closely with. Um, in addition to offering um, advising support, we just do any type of support that they may need with grants or, um, as I mentioned, advising, or just sometimes you just need to talk some things out in regards to a different department. Uh, so we tend to work with BSU, which is Black Student Union, UAAO, United Asian American Organization, La Casa, which is the Latinx student organization, SAN, which is the South Asian Awareness Network, NASA, which is the Native American Student Association, and Mixed at Michigan, which is the Mixed Race Student Organization. As I mentioned, we work with all of these student orgs, and some of these may be interest to you. So we also encourage you to look up these student orgs um, at umich.edu and find out more about them. And so we may not be sponsoring every student org. We can't. We would love to, but unfortunately, that is not possible at the moment. But we do also do a lot of collaborations with other units within the um, within student life. And um, a successful program can be really contributed to the fact that we partner with a lot of amazing organizations. We have the Queer, Trans, Indigenous, and People of Color Dinner. With, we partner with the Spectrum Center for that. We have our Anti-Racism and Coalition Building Teaching, which is we partner with the Global Scholars Program and the House Div Diversity and Inclusion Program. We do a lot of st staff development. So so partnering with Emily will allow us to be better supervisors and better prepared to find out what the students are needing in this day and age and how to really give them the the necessary skills to equip them with that. And then we also partner with the Ginsburg Center and the CCI Center for Campus Involvement for Leadership Connection. And this, again, is just the smallest of um, the way the collaboration works within our, the Mesa office. All right, thanks, Yoko, for sharing all that. Um, another resource that Mesa has that you um, have heard a couple of references to so far is our grants program. Um, so Mesa provides funding for student organization events that promote social justice through the lens of race and ethnicity. Um, if you have questions about filling out the application, we're glad to set up a meeting to provide guidance through that process. 
Um, it was also mentioned that our grants team is an opportunity for employment. It's a really great experience um, as students join that team and really lead out um, the whole grants process from start to beginning, working um, with program managers at Mesa. Um, it's a really great way to build relationships and get to know a really wide variety of organizations across campus. So definitely think about checking that out. Um, a little bit more about the grants. There's two ways that we provide funding. Um, it includes our small and our large grants. So kind of depending on, you know, the different initiatives or events that your organization might be thinking about um, to be eligible for a large grant or a small MESA grant, student orgs need to meet you know, a bunch of different criteria. It's on our website, um, but the main one would be to further Mesa's mission on promoting social justice through education, through the lens of race and ethnicity, exhibit an educational opponent or component <laughs> um, for the broader community, and be open and accessible to the entire university community focusing um, on current U of M students. So you can apply for those grants um, on May's pages and also on our website. So two spots there to access that. And like we mentioned, always reaching out to the office. We are happy to chat more, walk you through that process. CCI is another great office center for campus involvement that has, um, I think usually monthly or maybe even more frequent sort of like funding workshops and teach-ins. So that's another great spot to find all different sources of funding across campus. So moving on to talk a little bit more about our PI team, which again is the Peer Inclusive Education Team. Um, we offer educational programs for students that increase their knowledge and awareness of identity and its impact on self, others, and communities. In addition to celebrations, which may overlook the overall experience, critical discourse, and voices of non-dominant groups consistent with the Eurocentric curriculum. We help students grow the skills needed to navigate diverse environments using a social justice framework and enhance more authentic transformative measures. This is led by our peer-led anti-racism and coalition building teach-ins program. It's a really long name. <laughs> um, that's facilitated by our PI team facilitators, which again is a great opportunity for employment, really lean into more of that um, information and work. And so, Nyeka, Andrea, you gave us a lot of information and it sounds great, but how can we keep up with this as we go through our summer? Um, and then how can we also find you should, when we come on campus and we want to find out more? Um, there's a few ways that we stay connected socially um, and even just, you know, informationally on campus. Mesa tends to send out a newsletter every month, um, usually on a Tuesday. And in, within that newsletter, we provide up-to-date happening first within our office, but then also with some of the partners or some of the student orgs that we may have across campus. Um, it's, and it's to inform a lot of different things. Sometimes it's a seminar, sometimes it's a, a dance class that's happening, other times it's a protest that maybe they're trying to form. All aspects of what's going on on campus that's relevant to the work that Mesa does, we will put within our newsletter and show that and share that with our subscribers. Um, we also have a Facebook page, a Twitter page, and an Instagram. I'm working on that TikTok page, but not there yet. Um, and so we can, you can find the Multi-Ethnic Student Affairs or MESA on all of these platforms. We feel we ask and encourage folks to join us um, and to just really see what's going on in and out. Sometimes it may not be something that you may be interested in in that moment, but you can also keep these newsletters within your mailboxes and then something may happen, something may come up or a class you may be a part of and you need more information. You can definitely reach out and get information about past events as well. So uh, we want you to know that uh, we are located within the Michigan Union, the newly renovated Michigan Union on the third floor. We are specifically within suite 3000, which is just across from the elevators. When you join, when you visit us, you know exactly what that means. And we have office hours from the time of 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. And 
I don't know if you feel, some folks sometimes feel like they need to have an appointment or they need to have a specific um, purpose for joining the office. But we also have a, a, a lovely lounge area, steady space, enclosed steady room, um, which we call like other space. And sometimes students come just to visit, just to study, just to meet with a couple of folks. Um, we tend to find that sometimes it's difficult to find a quieter space on campus. Um, and our office, we offer that to students as well. So definitely stop on by. We do offer um, sometimes maybe you're not encouraged to go out and just really be um, in person all over the place. We do offer uh, appointments via Zoom. And so if you wanted more information or you wanted to just really see um, the space without walking into it, we can definitely offer a virtual tour or a virtual meeting to anyone that wants that information. And that was a lot of talking. Um, we want to give space to all of those. This that email address that we were, I don't know, that's the website that we were talking about, but our email address is um, mesa.uofm at umich.edu. Um, we do want to give space for anyone that may have any questions at this time about anything Andrea and I have spoken about. All right, you gotta always do that awkward seven second pause. And so since there aren't any questions, we thank you for letting us talk with you for a few moments about Mesa. And we definitely hope that as you enjoy your summer, as you enjoy the rest of these sessions, this informational session, that you think about coming to visit us at Mesa. We would love to see you, we would love to meet you, and we would love to help you in any way that we can. So thank you. Thank you.